Hello, good morning everyone. I'm here to answer your questions about the Navy, and the military, and all that fun stuff. Yep, it's just me. Hi guys. Um, I look like crap, but really quickly I wanted to answer some common questions that you guys had about um, Navy boot camp. The most asked question so far has been about PT and um, how it works. Pretty much you PT six days a week, um, but it's really not that hard. Three days a week it's in-house, which means you're in your compartment. You can do things like um, jumping jacks and sit-ups and push-ups and sharks and um, that's pretty much it. Our RDCs were cool. They put music on and um, it's, it's really not a lot. It's not that difficult. Um, the other thing you do is you go to Freedom Hall, and you'll run, and you'll, um, you know, do like sp sprints, and then jog, and then it's not that hard, because you're with a bunch of people, and you keep each other motivated, even when you don't really want to do it. Um, swimming was the next big question. What about swimming? Um, you only swim once. That's it. One day. And you take your swimsuit, you know, you put it on, and you go and you dive off this, um, it's not a diving board, but you dive off this tower, it's like 10 feet above the water, and then you swim from where you jumped in, across the pool, and get out. And then after that you f do a prone float, which I didn't know what that was, but what it is, is you kind of float face down, um, and you just lift your head up like every 5 to 10 seconds. That's it. And that's where people most get, most likely get stuck. And then the third part of the swim qualification is that you put on coveralls, you jump in the water, and you just put some, you like smack water into your, uh, smack air into your coveralls, and you hold it tight, and you float for like two seconds, and that's it. Um, a lot of boot camp is taking courses and learning, and then later it's applied. Um, what was the hardest part of boot camp is another question. Again, I said it was living with 80 females, and I'm not kidding. Living with um, that many people is really difficult. There's a lot of conflicting um, personalities. Everyone comes from different backgrounds, and it's really confusing and hectic. And the last question that most people seem to want to know about is P days, processing days. The first five to ten days when you get there, and it's kind of a blur. You're... Um, not sleeping a lot. You do a lot of bunk drills, which means you're making your rack over and over. And um, you are showering really quickly and you're dressing really quickly. You're learning how to fold clothes. You're learning how to stamp your clothes. Um, you are learning, excuse me, you're learning the basics of marching um, and drill. You're learning how to stand at attention. You're learning how to get yelled at. And after that, you march over to your real ship, which is on the other side of the base, and you really start training. A lot of P days consist of standing in line and um, like doing paperwork or going through medical, getting your eye exam, getting hearing tests, um, getting your teeth looked at, all that stuff. So it really isn't that hard, but it's um nerve-wracking because you've never done it before just like anything else would be um but yeah it's pretty good so i just wanted to answer those really quickly those are probably my most asked questions and i hope you guys have a great day that was lame i know bye